So Elk Grove is a popular, uh, popular city in the Sacramento County. Um, so far, uh, there has been 76 homes that have sold in, in December 2023, and which is a little bit of increase from the month before. And then you also have 73 homes that went into contract, which is less than the month before. So there was a decrease in that of about uh, 20%. Now, when we look at the first two weeks of January, uh, 21 homes have sold. And but 44 homes have gotten into contract, meaning there is an uptick in people buying in Elk Grove for the first two weeks. Man, that's insane. It's already picking back up. And then I think I'm going to go a little bit deeper into uh, some of the homes in Elk Grove and see which ones have multiple offers on. Okay, days on market. Okay, so uh, average days on the market is about 37 days before a home gets in the contract in Oak Grove. Uh, the sold price over the original asking price before any price reductions is 97%, which means on average, homes sold for 3% less than the original asking price in Oak Grove. Now, in the first two weeks of January, the average days on the market is 40 days. So that's... Um, It'll take about, on average, take about 40 days before a home gets in the contract. And then you have, for the sold price over the original asking price is 98%. So on average, um, homes sold for 2% less than the original asking price. Now for the median home prices in El Grove, Right in December 2023, we're looking at $639,000, and that is the median home price, which means um, most, quite a bit of the homes that are sold have been fluctuating closer and closer to $639,000 than any, any other price. And in these first two weeks of January, we are looking at $650,000, which is the median home price for Elk Grove, which is an increase from the month before. So now it's starting to go up a little bit by 8%. Now the month's inventory uh, has been pretty low as well. Greater Sacramento area has low inventory, period. Uh, so in December, 2023, we're looking at 1.4 months of inventory. Uh, if nothing else sells, uh, if nothing else comes up, how long would it take for the homes that are remaining to sell? And it will take 1.4 months, which means it is a seller's market. Now, the first two weeks of January, uh, we were looking at 2.7 months, so getting closer up there. Uh, but by the time, my, just a little prediction, by the time the end of the month, it'll probably go back down to like around two, two months of inventory. All right, and then now, let's see. I'm gonna go look into Elk Grove for the homes that went into contract because there was a lot more that went into contract than um, than the last month. So I want to see for the ones that did go into contract, which one of those had multiple offers on them. Do pending, pending, bring back up, and then let's see multiple offers. Include just yes. Okay, so we've got ooh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty, thirty one, thirty two, thirty two, thirty five. 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. So out of the 44 homes that are in contract that went pending in the first two weeks of um, January, 39 of those on the MLS have said that they had multiple offers on the home. So it is, it is starting to uh, pick back up as far as um, people wanting to purchase, and um, yeah, the, the market's getting uh, getting a little warm, so that's pretty cool. What I'm guessing is, is 
since the rates went down from 8% to like 6.3 at the moment, that's what, that's what's kind of helping the, helping the market.